Hey, 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 it's time for another episode of Max Potential Habits. Today we're gonna talk about the top five alignment habits of successful entrepreneurs. Why? Because success leaves clues. I love this quote by Jack Canfield. He says, your habits will determine your future. Really, that's all that needs to be said. We could just stop now. <laughs> Here's the thing. Success leaves clues and habits determine your future. That's why I created Max Potential Habits. If you don't know me yet, I'm Dr. Amanda Barrientes. I'm the founder of NFA Coaching, the host of Max Potential Habits. This is your place to come each and every week for tips, tools, and inspirational interviews to help you optimize your habits so you can thrive in life and business. And the reason that I wanted to do a habits podcast is because in all the research I did and in all the things that I started implementing to go from food stamps to six figures to help other people optimize their lives, it came down to habits because we are a product of what we do every single day. James Clear, who's the writer of Atomic Habits, says habits are not a finish line to be crossed. They are a lifestyle to be lived. I really love this quote because if we think about habits as a journey of alignment, that's what's key. So it doesn't happen overnight. Habits don't happen overnight. We get downloads when we're kids and this creates a lot of our habits. Let's say brushing our teeth, right? It's something we do over and over. Our parents help us when we're little, then we learn how to do it so much so that on autopilot, sometimes in the morning, we're like, did we brush our teeth? I can't quite remember because it's so embedded into your daily routine. We want all of our habits to be like this as long as they're ones that are putting us in the right direction. And the most highly successful people are people who optimize their habits and they take the journey of optimizing their habits. They continually tweak. They are continually assessing, evaluating, reflecting, and going, hey, are my habits aligned? Are they getting me where I wanna go? Do I need to drop something? Do I need to add something? What's my team doing with their habits? They're having those conversations in their inner world, in their mindset, and with their outer world, with their team, with their family, with their partners, with their kids. Habits are so incredibly powerful. So you've heard me say this before, my definition of a habit is a repeated pattern of thoughts, decisions, and actions that over time become automatic. So our mindset is a habit. Our joy is a habit. What we do to our physical body is a habit. How our relationships look is a habit. It's based on your relationship habits. Are you creating win-win relationships or are you overly narcissistic or overly altruistic? So if you're overly narcissistic, you're going to be taking a lot. If you're overly altruistic, you're going to be a doormat and giving too much, which leads to resentment. These are all habits. And so today, I wanna to talk to you about strategic habits. So autopilot habits are awesome because they set us up for success if they're geared in the right direction. If they're not, you've gotta realign and you've got to start to think, okay, what habits do I need to drop? What habits do I need to shift? Which ones do I need to implement strategically and practice them daily for a little bit of time? Research says, says different things. Uh, let's say you practice something for 30 days and you let yourself see how it feels. You're gonna start to notice a difference and then what happens is your brain starts to create new neural pathways and then that becomes the path of least resistance and then you wanna do more of that habit because you're getting a positive association with it. So I wanna to talk to you about five alignment habits that all successful entrepreneurs practice. And I've learned this through this podcast. I've learned this through a lot of research. I learned this through practicing myself and what I do with my clients. And these are powerful. So you're definitely, if you're in a place where you can take notes, write these five down and start evaluating where do I need to optimize in these areas and create a strategic habit of these top five. Because these five, I've seen all successful entrepreneurs do, including myself, including the biggest players in any industry you're in, including all the people that you can think of who have what you want, they are practicing these alignment habits. And let's talk about alignment a little bit. You know that NFA stands for No Fucking Around Coaching. It also stands for Neuro Freedom Alignment. The reason I named it also Neuro Freedom Alignment is because we all want freedom. And what freedom means is that we are living our lives on our terms. 
That means we have the success we want, we have the relationships we want, we have the body we want, we have the money we want, we have the health we want, we, we have you know the sky's limit, we go on the trips we want, all of those things, that's freedom. Success is whatever it means to you. So when I say the top five alignment habits of successful entrepreneurs, I could also say the top five alignment habits of entrepreneurs who are free, who have created freedom in their life through meaning, purpose, and deciding what they want. And a Alignment looks like you getting up every day on fire and inspired instead of stuck and frustrated. So it's you getting up and it's you saying, I'm in joy, I'm inspired to do my day, I'm not procrastinating or hesitating because I'm aligned. And you'll know you're aligned because you feel good and you see your outer world matching that feeling. So your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. So if you feel joy in your inner world, you're gonna see joy in your outer world. If you feel aligned on the inside, you're gonna have an aligned reality where you're magnetizing opportunities your way, your business will be growing, your connections will de be deepening, you'll be feeling a sense of inner power because you've aligned yourself. So alignment starts from within and it shows up in your habits. And you can also shift your habits and it gets you aligned. So this is a an interactive process. So let's talk about the top five alignment habits of successful entrepreneurs. Number one, be committed to living in your zone of genius, okay? What does that mean? Zone of genius means that you are aligned because you're doing what you say you wanna do. This means that you have no competing commitments. And when I say none, remember I said that habits are not a finish line to be crossed, they are a lifestyle to be lived. This is a journey. It's an ongoing process and it's a lifestyle. So when you're committed to living in your zone of genius, it means that you're continuously practicing confidence building, which means to know, like, and know, love, and trust yourself is my definition of confidence. You're getting to know yourself at a deeper level at all points in time. You're not self-sabotaging because you know what you want and you're driven to get there. You practice daily mindset training. So being committed to living in your zone of genius means that you know you've gotta become the master of yourself, okay? The master of themselves knows, loves, trusts themselves. When they don't know how to do something, they find resources to do it. They are resourceful, they are driven, they are inspired, they get up and they figure it out. They have an I can win attitude, right? So they never ever stop Living, wanting to live in their zone of genius, which is also values alignment. So when we know our values, our highest priorities, then we take action on them every day. It means we're gonna be more focused, we're gonna be more determined, and we're gonna want to do things in the world that are aligned with what we say we want. So one, one way you'll know that you are living in your zone of genius is that you'll get up in the morning and you'll be inspired for your day. You'll have clarity about where you wanna go. You'll start taking steps in that direction. If you're not living in your zone of genius, that's okay, lots of people aren't. Start taking action toward what brings you joy. Stop shooting yourself and telling yourself that you should be doing something because someone told you you should or because you have all these unconscious downloads. So you gotta start working on your competing commitments. I'm gonna say it, I, lots of podcasts, I have Inner Boss Bootcamp, which the entire thing is designed to help you deal with your competing commitments that are blocking you. Go to innerbossbootcamp.com, awesome, awesome, 30 day, masterful mindset training that helps you tap into your zone of genius, unlock your competing commitments so you can get where you wanna go, innerbossbootcamp.com. Um, number two, never stop learning attitude, okay? Every, across the board, successful entrepreneurs have a never stop learning attitude, okay? I think of this as NFA responsibility. They practice daily personal growth and development. I don't know if I've ever met a successful person who doesn't practice personal growth and development. I, I say it's the number one max potential habit. If you aren't, and it's very tied to committed, being committed to living in your zone of genius and confidence building, right? That never stop learning attitude with personal growth and development is you becoming a master of yourself. Really all of these are you becoming a master of yourself because that's what habits and mindset training is. When we're talking about alignment, it's you becoming a master of yourself. It's you tapping into your zone of genius. It's you feeling good every day. It's you raising your energy. It's all these things we're talking about. 
So these are all very intertwined. So never stop learning. That's things like listening to this podcast, getting onto YouTube University and learning, you know, about mindset, about habits, about money mastery, about relationships, about personal power, about, uh, you know, uh, I mean, the sky's the limit. There are plentiful resources out there for free even. Listen to Audible, read books. How many books have you read? If you're struggling somewhere in your life right now or your business, how many books have you read on that topic? If you were to read 10 books, if you were right now to go, I have an issue with, let's say money, and and you ask yourself, have I ever read a book about money? Lots of people will say no. Okay, so what if you go, I really wanna overcome this issue I have with money, and you have a never stop learning attitude, write down 10 books, order the first one today, start reading. 10 books down the road, I promise you that you will shift your energy about money and you will start to change what you track, your RAS, you will actually reshape your brain, your reticular activating systems to start looking for opportunities to build wealth if that's an issue for you. Start somewhere. Interbus Bootcamp has an entire module on this as well. Money mastery, money magnetism. Never stop learning attitude. Okay, number three, morning routine to raise energy. Everything in your life is an outcome of your inner world, which is your energetic alignment. If your energy is low, it's because you're not in your zone of genius. It's because you aren't practicing habits that are raising your energy. If you wanna be a magnetism master, a law of attraction master, a person who has freedom and success, it starts from within with you having routines that raise your energy. Okay, so when I say a morning routine to raise your energy, the reason I say morning routine, I could say routines to raise your energy, but the morning part is really important because how you start your, your day is how your day unfolds. If you start in the morning with raising your energy, then you're going to feel better all day, which means things are gonna flow more easily. You're gonna have a more balanced mindset. You're gonna take action in directions because you have energy. And I'm not talking just about physical energy, I'm talking about your emotional energy, your EQ, your physical energy, your mental energy, the frequency you're putting out into the universe comes from your energy. And you generate energy. It doesn't just happen to you, especially as you age. You do different techniques, different strategies to know, love, and trust yourself to keep your energy thriving. People ask me a lot about my morning routine. Um, on the days I exercise, I start with exercise, I journal, I meditate, I practice gratitude. Um, I always do personal growth and development. So on the days I don't exercise, then I would journal, meditate, practice da personal daily growth, personal, <laughs> personal growth and development daily. That was awesome. Um, so you want to set up a morning routine that works for you. Now, every single day, I don't do this. Sometimes my schedule gets off and I have big projects and I'll start differently, but I still start the day always. I might not do all those things, but I always start with something that raises my energy. Like today, my day was a little bit off. I stayed up later than usual last night. And this morning I just exercised later today. I'll meditate and it wasn't part of my morning routine, but this is Atypical for me and my general habit is to have a morning routine that I abide by most of the time. And, and that's the other thing I like about the it, habits are not a finish line to be crossed, they are a lifestyle to be lived. It's There's flexibility in some of these. It's not that you go, you know, hell or high water I'm doing this because that's not a, a, a flexible attitude. It's more you go, okay, am I doing these 90% of the time, 95% of the time? And then you'll notice your life changing, right? So I have flexibility in certain days where I go, okay, my morning routine is going to pivot or shift a little bit, but then later in the day I'll implement those or tomorrow I'll get back on track. And so for you, ask yourself, okay, what can I shift in my morning routine? If you're packed in your schedule, we all are. Remember, success leaves clues and this is what highly successful people do to be aligned. They find time, they make time to do these things. They don't use the excuse, I don't have time. They go, I, I have, it is, it is not an option to not align my energy to have an incredible day. So morning routine is key. So if you're struggling with this one, set your alarm 15 minutes early and start. If you're not exercising at all, start with 
five minutes of exercise a day and then ramp it up a little bit every day and then you'll start to feel better. You'll start to get the positive results and then you'll shift your habit around it and then you add more time. And then things in your life will start to change and then you'll have more energy because you're being the person who creates energy. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, so, you know, so for mine, exercise, journaling, meditation, gratitude, and daily personal growth and development. Those are all part of my morning routine and I feel awesome doing those things. Like I feel aligned when I start my day that way. And number four, and I'll recap these, so don't worry. Number four, decide and take action fast. Okay, so highly successful people decide and take action fast. I was just listening, or I, was, I went on a run yesterday morning and I'm listening to a um, Napoleon Hill book and it's talking about, I can't remember the name of it, it's not Think and Grow Rich, it's a different one and it's on Audible and they were talking about how powerful, he was talking to certain people and doing an analysis of Carnegie and, and some other big players at the time and they were talking about the common mindset habits of people uh, of that time, great leaders, people have built fortunes, and one of them was decisiveness. And, and I love this because my mantra is decide, commit, take NFA action. Decide, commit, take NFA action. So I've seen across the board, powerful entrepreneurs, powerful people decide, which means they cut off other options, then they move in that direction. The thing I think people get stuck with sometimes, they get scared with analysis paralysis and they analyze everything and they wanna oh, think through everything and, and you know see all the what ifs, which to me is what ifing, it's a, a based in worry and fear and a lack of abundance, it's more of a scarcity mindset. So if you're deciding fast, it's because you know, love and trust yourself. I don't have a hard time making decisions because I know myself and I know my vision and I know where I wanna go. So when an opportunity comes my way, I tap in, I'm energetically aligned, I have a, a powerful intuitive gauge because I've, t I've done the work to do that. This would not have been me three years ago. <laughs> I would have, I, I struggled to make decisions. I was somewhat slow mo moving in certain things and I would doubt myself. When you don't doubt yourself because you're practicing all of these things I'm talking about, you make decisions faster because you know yourself. And it's easy to go, is this aligned with my vision? Yes, okay. Is this the right person or resource to help me continue on this path to meet my goals? Yes, awesome. So that's the direction you wanna take. Decide and take action fast. And this is being thoughtful. You don't wanna just be taking action willy-nilly doing whatever. You're taking strategic action because you've made a decision based on number one, which is living in your zone of genius and knowing yourself. And, and having that never stop learning attitude where you practice personal daily growth and development and you're journaling every day and you're exercising and you're meditating. So you're aligned, you know yourself. So then when you want to make a decision, you make it fast, you take action and things happen. It's why I've been able to be so productive in my life and business and live 40 lives in this life already <laughs> because I decided to take action, right? And sure, I've created some chaos in certain areas, but I, I, I don't hesitate, I go, okay, is this the right decision? Go for it, go all the way. Then pivot if I need to, it's okay to pivot. You can what if and not make a decision and you'll what if forever. You can, you can assess, make a decision, go in the direction, try it out and it will give you clarity about what decision to make next. It's not that you can't change your mind, right? You can change your mind, it just gives you clarity to make the decision, take action and the path starts to appear for you more clearly as you do this. Number five, celebrate your wins, okay? Celebrate your wins because it creates positive neural associations in your mind, and then you want to do more of that. So all these things we're talking about, when you have a win, let's say you have a week this week of getting up every day and practicing a new morning routine, celebrate yourself. Do intentionally celebrate and acknowledge yourself. Even if it's you sitting down for a cup of tea and writing down a gratitude list for yourself, that's you consciously taking the time to celebrate yourself, okay? Celebrate your wins could be going and doing something nice for yourself. It could be planning a trip, but it, the planning of the trip gets to be challenging because that's a bigger celebration and we'll often put off the smaller wins celebrations because we go, oh, in six months I'm gonna go on this big trip. You need to be consistently celebrating yourself to create that positive neural association in your brain so that you wanna keep doing more of those things. The people who are successful celebrate themselves 
themselves because they know that it creates more energetic alignment. If you're doing all this work and you're not rewarding yourself, what's, what's it all for? right? And if you're aligned with your zone of genius, your work feels like a reward. So there's that too. But take time to really specifically treat yourself. Treat that part of yourself that's a little kid within, which we all have, and go, I like fun. I like play. I like to feel good. I like to gift myself. Be loving to yourself. This goes with personal self-care. And a lot of us, when we're on the freight train, can can forget this part and it's really, really important. So celebrate your wins, do nice things for yourself. So recap, number one, be committed to living in your zone of genius. Number two, never stop learning attitude. Number three, have a morning routine to raise your energy. Number four, decide and take NFA action fast. And five, celebrate wins. That is today's episode. I'm so psyched you're here. I love this podcast. This I love Max Potential Habits. It goes out on IGTV, YouTube, and as a podcast. And this is my jam. I love doing this because I love giving you information and knowledge to help you thrive. If you want to join me in a mastermind community called Mindset Church, go to nfamindsetchurch.com. We meet every week for energy alignment, for mindset reset, for undoing our money blocks, for manifestation tips, for marketing, to grow your business. It's all entrepreneurs. You get to try it out for free and it's only 97 bucks a month and we meet live every week. It's awesome. So join us there. I'd love to have you. And of course, if you're liking what you're getting here, leave a review and blast it out on social media to help us grow our NFA tribe. I put my heart, my soul, my energy, my money into this, into Max Potential Habits, and I love doing it. And you can help me out by leaving a review on iTunes. There's a link that tells you how it's really easy. Takes less than five minutes, even if you don't have iTunes. Thank you for being here. You're awesome. I wish you were in my office with me so I could give you jumping high fives, big hugs. I hope you have an incredible Max Potential Week where you thrive and feel alive.